Hello, my name's David and we're in the developed persona of Affinity Photo with a picture of a leaf that I took a while ago now. Take an autumn fall, which is wonderful for colours, for tones, for lighting, which are all sadly lacking from this image. Now, I thought they were there when I fired the shutter, but looking at it, they're lacking completely. So let's see how we can improve this image purely using the developed persona. First things first, take a good look around your image. And as we can see from this one, particularly if you select a lighter spot, there's a green cast going on, yellow as well with this. So let's head over to the white balance. Now, the first thing we need to do with the temperature, we're going to reduce this. In other words, we're going to take it out of the yellows into the blues, the cooler tones. We're going to move the slider across and as I'm taking it down into this region here, that's looking much better. Now we've just got the greens, which are on the tint. Green on this side, opposite color, magenta on the right hand side. So moving this slider across, the tint slider, I'm gonna take it to that area. You can see those colors, those tones starting to come through. There, that will do nicely. Okay, still with the colors, the tones, vibrance, I'm going to move this, love using the vibrant slider and just taking it, just backing it up slightly. I think there that will do. Heading up to saturation, you can give it a touch of this as well. Just going to take it a little bit further. Look how we've improved the image in just a few short steps. Right, next, let's have a look at that lighting. It was coming in from this direction here. It was sort of backlighting the leaf. Picking up the gradient tool, head up to the menu bar, make sure type is not linear, but we need to select elliptical. Bring in the elliptical gradient tool and dragging it out like this. I'm gonna lift it up into this sort of region here, just making it a little bit broader, just moving it into that position. I think that will do nicely. Let's have a look at exposure. As soon as you click down and move it, it makes that is starting to brighten up. So I can move it across into this sort of area. Just no backing up, that's way too much. That will do. Heading down to brightness, let's give it a little touch of brightness. Again, just moving it to the right hand side. And as I've taken it across, that's starting to look really good. There, that will do nicely. You'll also notice this slider. Now this feathers it. If I move it, you can see there it is much broader. You can narrow it down. I'm gonna take it roughly where it was there. It seems to vanish without trace. What I mean by that is the line vanishes without trace, that line we have here. That looks really good. Head over to the overlays. You will see that when you clicked on that gradient tool, it has added it as a new gradient overlay layer so to speak. You can also do that by heading down to the add gradient overlay. Now make sure you click on master. We're going to go back to the basic tab. Now for the next stage, I want to darken down the background. I also want to get rid of my gradient tool in case I click down again. So I simply press H on the keyboard. I've now got the hand tool. Darkening down the background will enrich the colors, the tones in the image. And we're going to do that on the contrast slider. And as we move the contrast across just a little bit more, that's starting to look really good. We have now gone from this to that. Looking pretty good already. Right, something else, the detail in the image. I'm gonna use Command 1, Control 1. Let's pop right into this area here. With the hand tool, I can just lift it up. Looking a little bit soft. Now I don't normally sharpen an image when we're in the develop persona. I tend to do it when I've got the finished image size. But this time I'm gonna make an exception. We're gonna head over to detail, detail refinement. Wish they would make this the same as the unsharp mask. The radius is percentage. Generally go for 25, 30% on slightly softer images, which this is. So I'm leaving it at 30% radius, taking the amount up. There, starting to look much better. And you can see, yes, on the webs as well, that's looking 
much better in general. Right, apart from the background, which is starting to look more speckled, noise creeping in as we can see. It's going to be luminance noise. So let's move this across and that looks better like this. Just taking a little bit more now to compensate because luminance noise, you are going to soften the image slightly. So I'm just compensating by taking the amount up. That looks good, but we can get more detail out of the leaf. I'm going to stay where I am. I'm going to head back over to the basic tab. When I mean stay where I am, I mean the zoom ratio. And I'm going to come to the clarity slider. As we move this across, notice look at the detail we can pull out of that leaf. There, that looks really good like that. Don't take it too far. Otherwise it starts to make the background look really false. So I'm going to take it to this sort of area here. You can see the web has also improved. Just looking at it at this distance. I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Don't forget, this is all going to be fully adjustable anyway. Now, the one thing I really do not like with this picture is this branch. So by shading it, by toning it down, we can just help make it a little less visible. Now to do that, we need to go over to the toolbox and we're going to pick up the overlay paint tool. B is the shortcut. You get a 500 pixel brush. You get a hardness of 50%. Edge aware, I'm going to leave this unticked. Show overlay. Yes, I need to do that. Notice how that uh, lighting effect now disappears. Don't worry, it will come back. Clicking down with that cross in the center. Notice how the brush doesn't go right to the edge. Just coming down over this area. Let me deliberately go over there as well. I'm just going to fill in like that. Right, head over to basic where we are, come to exposure, move it to the left, nothing happens. You need to uncheck show overlay. There it is with the exposure, as we can see, it doesn't really work. Let's have a look at black point. Taking that across to the right hand side. I think the black point may work slightly better with this. I'm going to take it to that position here. Remember how I went over this part. Let's come over, overlay a raised brush. And if we go over it, there it is. So if you do make a mistake, you can go over and you can bring back any little bits and pieces. I can just see if I press H on the keyboard, this little twig. And it's one of those things that once you've seen it, your eye keeps going to it. It's a distraction from the main part of our image. So let's pick up the crop tool. With this, I'm going to bring it in. But before I do that, it's unconstrained. I'm going to go for original ratio. So in other words, if I come to the bottom, now when I lift it up, because with this image, there was a bright spot down in the bottom corner in this position. So I can remove that and it's maintaining the original. There it is, the original uh, ratio of the image. That looks better. Double click in. Yes, I like that. Looking around the image, the one thing I'd like to enhance a little bit more is the lighting. Now, before I go over and pick up the overlay paint tool, I'm going to go to overlays because I've got just as well I checked. I was going to say a nagging feeling that I hadn't clicked on master. So always make sure after you've made any adjustments, you go back to master. Had I have picked up that brush overlay and painted it in, it would have been the same settings that we used. And this was for the shading of the branch. So make sure you go to master. While we're here, I'm going to go down. I'm going to pick up the add brush overlay. We got that default brush size, 500 pixels with a hardness of 50%. That is fine. Let's click down here. In goes the overlay. Let's bring it down like this. And when we reach this area, I'm just going to leave it for the moment. Let's go to the basic tab, starting with exposure, moving it to the right hand side to brighten it up. As soon as I click down, the overlay disappears. We can take it into this sort of area here. Going down to brightness. Let's take the brightness across as well. There looks pretty good. I'm going to go to vibrance. I'm going to take it a little bit further in the vibrance. Perhaps backing it up just to enhance the colors. 
I'm going to reduce the size of the brush. I'm going to use the left hand square bracket. I'm going to come to the leaf, just going to enhance that backlit look round here over that red tip. Taking the brush up in size a little bit, right hand square bracket for that, just over the leaf like this. There it is, that will do nicely. Just looking at it, I'm going to come to brightness. I'm just going to back that up or back it up, back it down very slightly into this direction here. Yeah, I think that looks good. Right, now that we've done that, the opacity 100%, always worth checking out. There it is before you can now dial it in. I'm going to take it to this sort of area here, like how that's looking. Brush overlay, just wish we could name them so we knew what was on this particular overlay, but it's the shading we've got on that branch. I've got a feeling with this, yes, I'm going to use 100%. Here is the original gradient for the lighting. Let's drop this down. There it is before. You can see it actually plays quite an important role. I'm going to take this up into, I'm just dropping it down very slightly. That will do nicely. Clicking on master, let's go to basic. You can now make any changes, any adjustments, pressing H on the keyboard. Now, if you want to take this into the photo persona, make sure you've got the hand tool. You then get this menu bar, output it as a raw layer, either embedded as I've got here or linked. I have done a video. I will put a link below in the description. I'm going with embedded, click develop. You go to the photo persona. Now, if you want to come back to the develop persona, just double click on the thumbnail. That will bring you back. You can make changes, adjustments. For example, with this, let's come down to the brush overlay. I'm going to come across the toolbox. I'm going to pick up the paintbrush tool. There it is. I'm going to leave it on this size and I'm just going to paint over that red stem here. Let's give those colors there a little bit of a boost. This is because we're on this layer. So of course we're picking up all of those settings. Anything else you want to bring through, you just want to enhance the colors, the lightness, the brightness. There it is. Job done. Okay. Right. H on the keyboard. In case I click on anything else, always click on master. Now you can go back to the basic tab. So go on, give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe. Plenty more videos to come. Click that little bell icon. You'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.